after a lot of aerial shots of the Tesla Gigafactory in Texas, we've seen some cars and it's been confirmed that those are the brand new Model Ys with the 4680 cells. We'll cover it more in this video. If you guys watched the earnings call, you have seen that the Model Y will start shipping with 4680 cells once they are certified from Austin. So that raised some questions on will we see changes to the range? Will we see the uh, difference between the 0 to 60 um, and how it will impact these two particular models? So those were some of the questions and if there would be some depreciation. We've seen the delivery times go from uh, July to August as well as to December depending on which model you are looking for. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that are being done when it comes to the Model Y production at Giga Texas. Now Giga Texas has been developing for a while and the process has gone fairly quick compared to some of the other locations especially when you compare it to Giga Berlin since it took way more uh, time for them to get stuff certified and processed through the government but Texas has played really well and gotten a lot of stuff processed much faster and so the paperwork was done they started manufacturing the Model Y last year so around December of 2021 they did start having some units come out of the facility so they are working on them and when I say they came out of the facility it means that they were produced but they were not ready for the public so this is some of the pictures that they were showing you see this these are all the blue ones so model Y with the paint job being done and the structural pack Elon did state that they will be using 4680 battery cells in these models coming out of Texas. Now the other thing is that the 4680 cells are designed to be coming out of Texas for the East Coast. There was no mention regarding the battery cells going to Fremont and shipping out of Fremont. We don't know how it will impact it, what their purpose is. As of right now, Texas will be the only factory using 4680 cells. The Giga Berlin will start with 2170 in the beginning. So what we're looking at a few things here. We're going to have both of these models, which is the Model Y Long Range and Model Y Performance coming out of Texas. And the way you can tell which version you have is on the VIN. So once you get your VIN, the 11th digit is going to be either an F for Fremont or is going to be A for Austin. And this is the way that you can tell which version you have. The build will be slightly different because Austin is using a new manufacturing process and they're using the structural battery pack. So there will be changes. We don't know right now regarding battery if it'll be longer range for those particular models. Will it be lighter? or how much of a change will actually be happening? Will they be implementing any of the uh, things that we see in the Shanghai factory? So it's hard to tell. We do have currently AMD chipsets from the Fremont. We also have the lithium ion battery, 12 volt batteries coming out of Fremont. And we also have the heated wipers. Now, we don't have ventilating seats, at least not listed and were not enabled for any of the Fremont. And we don't know if the Texas one will get that or the double pane rear windows or if we will have the cargo cover. So those are some of the things that we don't know since we have not seen any of the builds in person. Once we can get a build in person, that'll be a better way of telling what the difference is. There are a few differences when you look at the Model Y and Model Y performance. So currently when you call, they will tell you that these two models are the same. 
but I don't think they are the same and I'll be able to clarify it more come Friday. But the Model Y performance seems like it's using the new headlights and maybe the long range out of Austin will use the new headlights. But I will also confirm if the Fremont ones are using that on Friday since I'll have uh, some cars to compare. And But when you're looking at the images coming from the website, you can tell that the lights are different. So there are slightly changes when it comes to that. If there's any other changes, it could be really minimal, but that's one of the one of the things that I've noticed just looking at the website. The Model 3s do display the same headlights across the board. So and the reports are that they're also shipping out with the AMD chipsets. But if you look at the Model 3, all of them are using the same headlights uh, with the rear wheel drive using the LFP battery as well as missing some of the other features that you would find on the long range or the performance. And these, the delivery times are much better. You're looking at June for the standard range, which is the rear wheel drive. Now, if you do change some of the configurations, you might be able to get a little bit faster, but if you do change the configuration too much, you might also push out the date. So let's say you want the aero wheels. If you use blue, you'll have a June delivery date. Uh, black will have a June delivery date and same thing for the red. Now white and silver will be October. Now when it comes to the upgraded wheels, the 19 inch sport wheels, you're looking at June all across the board for the delivery. Let's say we do white interior and the aero wheels, you'll be getting it in June. So those, those are some changes. As for the Model 3 long range, you can get that one on March if you use the aero wheels or if you use the sports wheels and doesn't seem like the color matters either. You're looking like March is going to be your better bet. Same thing goes for the performance model. And these will be coming out of Fremont since the Model Y will be the only car currently built at Giga Factory, uh, Giga Texas particularly. They'll be only building the Model Ys until they come out with the Cybertruck. So, hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more. Hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you for watching.